Hello, hi! Uh, I've just finished Sonic Adventure 2, and I'm gonna start Splatoon 2 single player campaign here. Because that was something some people have requested of me. And I thought, well, why not? Japanese day day day. Because <laughs> in Japanese, you, you call them day 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 dial, and not DDD. It's Mori in Japanese. Okay, I feel like I need to turn this up. Hang on. How. Volume is probably really low, I bet. Okay. Uh, how is volume? Yeah, we're doing some squid. So this is a new profile. Because um, I have my regular profile and I've already eaten everything with it. Okay. Yeah, this is fresh out of the oven. Fresh, uh, freshly fished from the sea. Onna no ko. Um, I'm very pale, so that's like weird pale. Yeah, that's about what color my skin is. Uh, sure. Like me. Volume is better. <laughs> you making dad jokes. Oh, uh, let's see. What hair? I kind of like the Hime cut. I can't use this one because Boogie always uses this one and I associate this hairstyle with her. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with the classic twin tails. Mm. Oh, this is Actually, no. I'm gonna go with the Hime cut. Hime cut. Leg wear. Uh, how about some leggings? Yeah. Very nice. Very good! How many of you have played Splatoon before, I wonder? Or if this is all new to you? Think you're too cool for school? Well, time to prove it in battle. I got my head. <laughs> oh man, we gotta do the tutorial, huh? I really like the tutorial in this game. I think it does a really good job of gradually showing you mechanics, but in a fast-paced way. Oh man, my movement speed is so slow. Never heard of it. Hide CDs, art books, erasers. I want the Splatoon art books. I love the design for this game. Just everything about it. I've talked about it on stream before, I think, but when Splatoon was initially announced, um, I was kind of ambivalent on it. Um, I mean, I saw it and I thought, oh, that's cool that Nintendo's doing a new IP, because, you know, that's rare in this day and age, but like, oh, it's an online shooter, Ugh, it's not my cup of tea. But then they did the test fire demo on the Wii U, where you got to play it um, for like certain hour-long blocks of time. and. My friends, I got totally hurt. Not that that's news to any of you. I can't climb up here, no. There's a barrier. Bird, bird. Do I have to shoot this balloon? I'm gonna do it anyway. Played some of it when the original came out, had some fun with it, but you like your games with a little more substance. Not to say this doesn't, but like from a narrative gameplay standpoint, that's fair. I think there's more to the single player than people might give it credit for, though. You felt the same way, had no idea how sweaty you get at it. <laughs> You're not used to reloading taking so long. Time for the goyles. Y'all know what time it is. It's off the hook, coming at you live from Inkopolis Square. Check it. Here are the current regular battle stages. You're supposed to give me story updates. What do you call it when you launch a booyah bomb at the end of a battle? After school special. And these are the current rank battle stages. 
This is not relevant. I, Rina, what should players look out for on this stage? The ink getting flung around by the propellers. Also, don't call me that. <laughs> Here are the league battle stages. I'm not getting paid enough to do this. That's okay, because I'm already rich. Ooh, an excavator. You like that kind of stuff, right, Marina? What can I say? I have a thing for heavy machinery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss Salmonids are so afraid of me, they don't even try to attack me. Either that, or you're so short that they mistake you for a chum. Here we go. Um, why is our producer freaking out? Read the teleprompter, Marina. Uh, uh let's see here. This just in! The great zapfish has disappeared? Wait, like for reals? I feel like I've heard this story somewhere before. There's more! Pop superstar Callie of the Squid Sisters has gone missing! No! Not Callie! This is terrible! Do something, Marina! Uh, okay, I'll put together a search part. Whatever. I'm sure they'll turn up at some point. In other news? But shouldn't we form a search party or something? Nope. Let's try a little something new today. I call it Incopolis Fashion Focus. Uh, Pearl, what are you doing? Oh, I don't see this on the script. Relax, we're just gonna spotlight some fresh new styles around Incopolis. Pearl, did you even run this by our producer? Nope. Let's dive right into our first feature. All the cool squid kids in town seem to be sporting these weird hairstyles lately. Squid kids? Oh, um, right. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before this thing is a full-on fad. Although, I feel like I've seen these weird hairstyles somewhere before. Alright, Pearl, I'm getting word that we're out of time for this segment. Ugh, fine. Be sure to tune in next time for more Inkopolis Fashion Focus. Never again. And when exactly is next time going to be? Eh, pretty sure we peaked on that one, so probably never. And that's all the time we've got. Until next time, don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. I had to do that at least once. They don't notice, no, Inkopolis, or sorry, Inkopolis, Inklings are canonically dumb. Maybe not all of them, but generally, they're kind of dumb. Welcome to Inkopolis Square, the new nerve center of Inkling culture. That's Deca Tower there in front of you, one of the tallest buildings in Inkopolis. There's a lobby on the first floor of Deca Tower for online battles, which we're not going to do with this character. Over here, we've got the Galleria, Inkopolis's most popular shopping center. Here you can buy the freshest gear and weapons to use in battle, which we're not doing. But the shops are pretty exclusive, and they won't serve you if you're not fresh enough. Uh, what else? Oh, that creepy shop back there. Rumor has it they're hiring for some sketchy job. Might want to think twice before you apply there, unless you really need dough. That brings us to the Shoal, the coolest hangout spot in all of Inkopolis. I have never gotten to use the Shoal, ever. That's where Ink Inklings go to meet up with nearby friends for both competitive and cooperative play. And next we have... Huh? What's that? Oh, who is that mysterious squid back there? It almost looks like... No, she'd never hang out in a place like this. And those clothes? Yeah, must be someone else. Are we done yet? Uh, is it just me, or does that alleyway seem a little fishy? Yeah, definitely something fishing going on over there. Probably best to ignore it. Anyway, you should check out the lobby of Deca Tower. That's where you can get your slat on. Nope. I'm not going to open that box either. Because we're going this way. Go to the alley. Sorry. Go to the alleyway to get mugged. And it was a too weird doing the Spamton voice without a filter. It's weird they bother with a local multiplayer, but I do wish that online featured... I know the show lets you do, like, Salmon Run, but you can choose your weapons. I wish you could do that with friends. 
Hmm. The Octarians. Hey, you showed up. As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering around the square, I knew you were the one. I'm Marie. I know you're probably a bit starstruck, but I need you to get over it. Yes, I'm that Marie. You know, from the Squid Sisters. Got it. You've never heard of me? For eel? Well, you obviously aren't very cultured, but you'll have to do. See, I've got a little thing I need some help with. By now you've heard that the great zapfish that powers Inkopolis Square is missing. Well, it's not just missing, it's been squidnapped by the Octarian Menace. How do I know this? On the surface, I may just look like an absurdly talented pop star, but in truth, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, a secret society of heroes who saved the world from Octarians. Now, I've been trying to keep an eye on the Octarians in my downtime, but I'm a busy girl. If only Callie was around to lend a hand. <clears throat> I need you to go get the great zapfish back from those slimy octarians. What do you say? Are you in? Uh, who are you? Humpst? <clears throat> so... I'll take your awkward silence as a yes. Welcome aboard. You are now Agent 4 of the new Squidbeak's platoon. I even bought you a brand new hero suit as a signing bonus. And look at that, it fits like a glove. Not bad for an old hand-me-down. Now, let's go tear those Octarians limb from limb from limb from limb from, well, you get the picture. Oh yeah, the entrances to the Octarian realm are invisible, so you'll have to ink them to reveal them. Do you find the avatar a little distracting, by the way? I can turn it off if need be. If you see anything weird looking, blast it with ink. I didn't read the rest of that. So sparkly. I'm waiting on my mom to pick me up and okay, I guess I'm just here now. I also like the rendition of her song using traditional Japanese instruments. It's good. Oh man, when you haven't upgraded your gun in this, it's so slow. It's Banton after midnight. It's time to lose all your clobber. It's so awkward. Oh, this isn't even the first stage. Whatever, I'm here now. Once you've inked a wall, you can swim up it in squid form. I might not read all of these. Because I should focus on what I'm doing normally. Ink those sponges to pump them up. Strong work, Agent. Cringe not having the big gun to make the big shots. <laughs> It's so weird doing that voice without the filter. Baddies ahead! Poach those eggheads! Marie, that's so rude. Nice. Marie is not a nice girl. Yeah, I might not read all these. I think they're a little distracting. But you can read them. I'm gonna focus on this. Kind of jarring going back to this. I've cleared um, all of the stages with most of the hero replica weapons. Um, there's a couple I haven't done yet, though, like the blaster. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I don't actually need to kill you. 30 text boxes for each level. That's a lot of talking. I should focus. That's the sensible thing. It's so different than when I first played Splatoon back in Splatoon 1 and playing the hero mode. And I felt like my movements are really clumsy. But it's second nature now because I've put so many hours into both of the games. Please, can you hustle up? Vision 4. Well, soy! Slow! Thing is like the fire rate of the 52 gal. I hate that gun. Like 
props to people who can use that gun, but I can't. Every time I've tried, it just annoys me. Because its rate of fire is really slow. And it's painfully inaccurate. Like, it's very powerful. It's a two-hit splat if you can connect. But I feel like every time I try to use it, I'll be up in a firefight with someone. And I'll be right in front of them, and I just I can't land a hit because its shots waver so much. Hang on. Fun biology fact, octopuses... A second group, so I'm not gonna use my splash down yet. Yeah. Oh, yoing! There it is. Did I miss one? Yes, I did. Did I miss two? Oh, that was not as effective as I thought it would be. Oh, never mind. We're good. Octopuses have a bundle of nerves that function as a mini brain for each tentacle, which can act independently of the main brain, which inspires the Octarian enemies here. That's so cool! I think octopuses are so cool. Yet I've eaten takoyaki in the past, and I kind of regret it. I feel like octopuses, I don't know, like ethically, they're not something I'd want to consume, just because of how intelligent they are. But I'm also very soft hearted. Yachty. That's the one weapon you've never bought from Sheldon, what, like the, the 52 gal? I bought all of them. But I don't, you know what? I don't think I've made a concerted effort to use all of them. Most of them. Eating calamari was your worst mistake. Cute. I like calamari, but it has to be done right. It can get gross really easily. I don't think there's actually a consensus on if it's octopi or octopuses. I actually think octopuses might be more technically correct, but... I don't know. I'm not an expert on Latin. I love how I just, like, barreled past the first stage. Hi, Marie. What's up? You know, you remind me of Agent 3. If Agent 3 were, like, two years older and practiced basic hygiene... That's so rude! But then that's just how Marie do. Yeah, the gal from 52. <laughs> totally distinct from the gal from 96. Which I think is a tolerable weapon. Just because it has a range bonus. So I don't have to get quite as close to my opponent and then inevitably miss every shot because the accuracy is garma. Oh yeah, onion ring. This is what Shadow needed. No, I just... Okay. You don't really care for the rubbery chew of octopus. Oh, come on. No, go for the bomb. Light. I guess I just wait until they get bored. There you go. Okay, good. When are we getting into the bangers? I don't know, this is... What would you describe this style of music? I'm sure they're bangers to someone. Oh, I'm not going back for those, those onion rings. This ain't that good. You know what? Well, I'm not gonna give away too much about this campaign, but... Splatoon, the first one had, I think, a better final boss and a better final boss theme than this one does. I actually find the final boss music of this game very disappointing, comparatively speaking. This ain't one of the good ones. Slow weapons. Love slow weapons. Pew pew. Octopi is a Latin ending. Valid. Octopus is the English take of the plural form. Valid in the way that English is a mess. <laughs> There you go. So both octopi and octopuses are valid. No word on octopeople, though. Latin is basically modern science speak. I like it when the taxonomy of an animal has both Latin and Greek, just to make things confusing. 
Also, I feel like every time I try and pronounce Latin, it's disgustingly wrong. You know, my parents would always tell me, you should be a lawyer. Because I love Al arguing, apparently. I think I'm just really stubborn. So maybe if I had stuck with it, I would be a Latin pro. But no. I say stuck with it as if all my training is taking a legal studies class in high school. I would be a terrible lawyer. Thank god I'm not a scientist. Sometimes I feel like I should be, just because I've got the brain power for it. But I'm the kind of person where I can't really focus on something unless it really interests me personally. I always struggled in school um, when they would ask me to do things that I didn't uh, see the point of or wasn't personally interested in. Like, I'm the kind of person who fixates on stuff. Um, and if I find something is boring, I just tune it out. Like, trying to engage with it is torture. Um, I remember also in school, one of the worst things for me was... Uh, what they called self-directed studies, or SDS projects. Or basically, they'd be like, okay, pick a topic and then do a project about it. Like, write a report. Or people always did, I can't remember if it was expected, but we'd always do... Um, oh yeah, the old tent missiles. We'd always have to make little tripods, like these big fold-out paper or cardboard displays, and we would stick... Like, uh, our reports and pictures and whatnot on there, and then have to present them. I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but for me, that was torture. Because I'm the kind of person who needs direction. If you just give me, like, okay, pick a project and then do something about it. Or rather, pick a topic and do something about it. No, that's nightmarish. I enjoy arguing. Your mother's just the same about you. I don't enjoy arguing. I hate confrontation. I'm too soft and gentle. That's why I would be a bad lawyer. Anyway, we did it. Yay. Oh, I didn't get the sunken scrolls. I forgot to go look for those. It's fine. I got them all in my other file. If someone is unfamiliar with Splatoon and the mechanics, by the way, uh, hit me up, and I can give you some some intel since I've played uh, a lot. The Splatoon. Pew pew pew. That wasn't really worth it. Now where is the last kettle? I don't remember. Down here. You hated the do do it. <laughs> You hated doing them as well? Wow, sometimes my brain just locks up, huh? I feel like... Because I was in the gifted program in school, and please don't take that as like a humble brag. Um, my advice to you is if you're ever offered the opportunity to go in the gifted program, don't. Do not. Um, but that was a really common facet of it. I think was like, oh, well, you're clever and studious, so you all just can figure out projects on your own. But they weren't really taking into account um, the different ways students learn best. And for me, I do best with direction and having um, very clear expectations laid out. I know some people would thrive maybe being uh, more independent in their studies, but for me, I just... You gotta tell me what to do. So otherwise, I'm gonna get restless and directionless and can't focus and it's a nightmare. What did I- I just look over at chat. Never forget the joke the B-movie made about lawyers? What? I'm already a blood-sucking parasite. All I need is a briefcase. Man, lawyer jokes are so... I, they feel like such a... a boomer comedy thing, if I may. Along with all the the gamut of like, oh, I hate my wife jokes. Like, I would see that a lot in old, I don't know, cartoons and media, like jokes about lawyers. Oops! And how they're, I don't know, the scum of the earth or something. And it's just weird to me, I never got that. 
I mean, I guess the kind of really um, opportunistic att attorneys that try and uh, sue over really minor things or... Uh, what do you call people who, like, um, deliberately try and get in an accident um, for, like, insurance claims or something? There's the banger. I've heard this style of music described as burp step. I feel like maybe that's appropriate. I'll take that. No well, timing, I should pay attention, huh? Let's go. Ink step. Oh, you were like that too? What, in, like school not being able to do tasks or focus on things if you didn't see the purpose of them? I used to get lambasted by my parents and teachers a lot. Like, oh, you're so brilliant. If only you would just apply yourself. i like, well, maybe the problem is not with me, but with the schooling I'm being given, because I had no problem up until that point. Oh, is this the old stingray? Where it's the narrow beam? Oh, baby, it is. Oh, this is how the stingray used to be. It was awful. I still don't really like the Stingray that much, but I'm a very aggressive player, so uh, long-range specials are not my favorite. Oh, someone's shooting at me. I should've just gunned it! Hey, stop. Onion rings. Onion rings. Ugh. The genre is squid fried ska. No, I don't like ska very much. Which I know is a controversial opinion. Whoosh. Yeah. If only I tried, I know. But I, I, don't, I couldn't focus on stuff in school. You hate music in general. Wild. Unless you're doing a bit. I'm sure there's people out there who hate music. Which is hard for me to wrap my head around because music, I feel, is such... I don't know how to phrase it. Not uh, like an integral part of my personality, but just I'm very... I'm a very musical individual. You managed to finish school somehow. I did too, and I still don't know how I did it. Oh yeah, boss fight! You just like the music everyone seems to hate. <laughs> I feel like people seem to love the music that I don't. I guess I have the opposite problem. In 25 degrees of pain! Let's get this bread! <laughs> I love the boss designs in this game. It's like, why not? Why not have like a multi tier toaster of it? It's so good. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Okay, I can't blow it up with a bomb. Good to know. If I'm cold, just stand in a corner. You're up there around 90 degrees. Ah! AP classes were weird. They let you in even though you got D's and F's constantly. We didn't have AP here. Which I'm not sure what AP stands for. I mean, I know what it means in the abstract. But here we had um, IB, which is, I think, the International Baccalaureate, which I don't really know what, what that meant in a broader scope, but a lot of gifted kids went into the IB program. Um, but you need like super good grades for it, and apparently like it's just suffering. The workload was apparently monumental. I don't know if you know got you any extra perks when applying for post-secondary. Oh advanced placement, okay. I kind of figured it was advanced something, but I wasn't sure what. Oh, a glazing machine. 
No, I don't want to be a glazed donut. They're too sweet. Nintendo really let their most baked team develop this, huh? Well, yeah. Why do you think it's toast? Come on. Just let me ascend. There we go. Oh, they've armored their bread. Devilish. You're gonna follow up with a toast joke? Good. This guy's toast. Thank you, Marie, for your contribution. <laughs> Extra crispy. A toast to me, why thank you. A toast to you all, too. Good work, Agent Four. I sure know how to pick them. Gotta hand it to the Octarians, though. I didn't expect them to have fully operational Octobosses at their disposal. I think it's time to call in the big guns. Let's see here. Sheldon, can you hear me? Over. I hear you loud and clear, Marie. Oh man, this is so cool. Ahem. Agent 4, I'm Sheldon from Ammo Knights, the only weapon shop in Inkopolis with over 542 million years of trusted service. That's right. Stop by Ammo Knights in Inkopolis Square for all your weapon needs. Tell me Sheldon sent you. Marie told me everything. To think that my signature weapons can be of help to the new Squid Beak Splatoon. I'm honored. But I'm afraid I can't just let you treat my vast arsenal like an all-you-can-ink buffet. I do have a business to run, you know. So let's help each other out. I want you to help me test out some new weapons I'm currently developing. All you have to do is use them in real-world conditions. If you'll do that for me, I'll be able to gather all sorts of amazing data. That data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapons. And once the retail versions are out, you can use them in turf war battles. That's a real win-win, don't you think? Oh yeah, and... Okay, down, boy. I think Agent 4 gets the point. Let's get back to work, Agent 4. Stay fresh. Ugh, sorry, my eyes watering. Chotomate, kudasai. That's okay, there's a cutscene. Oof. The mini zapfish are so cute. They're very cute. I love. Oh, yeah. Good news! You can now use my Ammo Knight's Enhancifier next to Cuttlefish Cabin. It's top of the line vending machine that can enhance your weapons and add bombs to your arsenal. The Enhancifier doesn't take cash, it takes power eggs and sardinium instead. Alright, are you done, nerd boy? Good. It's only going to get tougher, Agent 4. You'll need to upgrade your gear with the Ammo Knight's Enhancifier. Yes, thank you, Sheldon. Um, if you go back and replay a stage where you've already saved the Zapfish, um, it's replaced with the little plush version. It's very cute. Oh, I don't have enough to upgrade this. So sad. I need more egg. Oops. I'll come back with more egg. Oops, sorry, I hit the desk. Blah. Here we go. Suction cup, look out. When you say your music list is really random and weird, what's on it? What do you all like to listen to? I've been listening to a lot of actually like Sonic remixes lately. Because I mean, Sonic is good music. Um, but I don't know, it's hard to define the kind of music that I really like. There's nothing up there, is there? No. Um, I like lately, well, it's not really lately per se, but I like a lot of um, uh, future funk and synth, synth wave and I guess Japanese city pop. Uh, my eyes will not stop watering. It's driving me crazy. Ugh. Maybe I'll do a couple more stages and then call it an evening. You quite like video game music? Heck yeah. Things more mainstream, you're more into alternative rock. 
You've listened to Night of Nights for 700 hours straight. Oh, and I totally missed what Sheldon said. Whatever. Something, something Toho. Oh yeah, my eyes are driving me nuts. There's nothing like secret down there, is there? My eyes are prone to watering anyway, but this new medication I'm on that I had to inject myself with last week. Um, eye weirdness is one of the side effects. And it's been manifesting, let me tell you! Ugh. I'm okay, it's just very uncomfortable. Secrets? Eh, I'll take it. Do I get acid in my eyes too at night? Oh baby, you know it! I mean, my eyes are really dry anyway, so they tend to burn a lot when I water. Ow. I know my eyes water a lot when I yawn too, which makes it even worse. And then when I yawn, my eyes burn and water, and then it looks like I'm crying and I have to be- I have to tell people I'm not crying, I'm just yawning. Sorry. I'm defective. Look. Straight D&B, also good. So I don't think I've mentioned it here. If you've seen on Twitter, you might know, but, um, what am I doing? I have to go up here. Uh, I played a bit of Sonic Forces, because the same Humble Bundle where I got Sonic Adventure 2 had Sonic Forces in it. So I played around with that uh, for a little bit. And the uh, like second stage um, has a really catchy, cheesy D&B song. I don't actually know what the song is called, but it's the theme of the Chemical Plant Spaceport, if you're familiar with Sonic Heroes. Oh, my armor! How dare you, I'm monologuing about cheesy D and B. Oh, there's a sunken scroll. Oh, I almost jumped in the void. That would have been hilarious. Break core. What is break core exactly? Like I have an idea in my head of what it might be, but I feel like when you uh, someone asks me to describe a musical genre, especially if I mention something like uh, synthwave or city pop or vaporwave, um, I just I kind of lock up if I have the words for it. It's just a feeling, man. Oh, I shouldn't shoot the sprinklers. I should shoot these things. Come on. I guess I should shoot the sprinklers now. There we go. Oh, good luck with work! Thank you for joining me, I appreciate it! You take care and enjoy the rest of your week! Pew. You got eye acid on the interstate once during rush hour, the closest to death you ever got. Oh no! You can't describe it, there's just never a slow spot, very fast-paced. I had a hunch. Encopolist holds its famous card game tournament once a year. This year, first-time entrant Jelfonzo appeared on the scene and promptly set about decimating the competition. He walked away with the first-place trophy. I forgot how cute the sunken scroll illustrations are. Alas, maybe I should try and remember to get more of them. Okay, where am I going now? go up here. I can't go up here. What about Color Splash? Are we talking about Paper Mario Color Splash? Hanafuda or the Death Card Game? What is the Death Card Game? Which reminds me, earlier this afternoon I played a demo of this game called Inscription, which... I don't remember the name of the dev, but they're the same person who did Pony Island, if you've ever heard of that. Um, and if you haven't heard of it, uh, the name is not really indicative of what it's about. Um, and I won't spoil it by telling you what it is. But anyway, I played some of in in Inscription, but I hope I'm getting the name right while I'm very distracted. And that was very 
pecu peculiar experience. I don't know if I could do it justice. It was like a weird and unsettling psychological horror uh, uh, roguelike deck builder. And also, I'm not a friend. Oh, you've played it? I was intrigued by the demo. Um, the It's pretty tough. Like, I I feel like I won that last fight by the skin of my teeth, and then I felt like I didn't fully grasp um, some things about the combat either. Would you recommend it? I mean, if anything, like, the whole aesthetic of it is really cool. And I like supporting games that do something different. You know what? No, I'm not gonna fight you. I don't care. Oh god. <laughs> Imagine if my first death was to a sprinkler. Is there anything more humiliating? Death by sprinkler. Come on. Come on. Stop throwing bombs at me. It's like my whole thing. Go. Go. No. But what are you? Do okay. You had a thirst for blood. I see. I understand. Is there anything interesting in there? No. There we go. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us. I've also heard extremely good things about Inscription. Oh, well, maybe if it goes on sale, I'll have a look-see. Oh, big boy. I can't launch the big boy yet. Oh, there's a thing down there, though. I assume based on the dev's other stuff, it'll be weird and meta, but that's all I got. Can I really afford to get, well, I'd say hooked on another deck-building roguelike, because I've been playing a lot of Monster Train lately, but uh, I don't know if you could really... It doesn't seem like it's a roguelike with the same sort of gameplay loop, since it's so heavily story-focused. I don't know. I guess I'll find out if I get around to playing it. Onion ring! Sardinium! Big boy. Big boy. If I was really gutsy, I could scoot past the big boy. Yeah. Okay. Yaddy. Everybody loves Woomy, but where's the love for Mon Men Me? That was my favorite squid noise. Love to wake up and choose violence. Oh! No, big boy! No! You have abandoned me in my hour of need! Oh, you. How dare you. My armor. I need to climb up and regroup. What have I ever done to you? They only do that when they're incredibly stressed. Well, it was kept in such a small enclosure for so long. Like, can you blame it? Oh, oh, I was on it and then I fell off. This tank is not big enough for this Roomba. Okay. Uh, there we go. Come on, get a little closer. Why are you so stubborn? Oh, I see. I understand. Freedom. Oh, yeah, let me just. That's better. Okay. Good work. I'm gonna call it an evening here, though, because my eyes are burning and I need to take a break. But thank you for joining me for this little impromptu bit of Splatoon 2. Um. Friday, I don't know if I'll continue this or I'll do something else and just continue this on Tuesday. 
Uh, but we'll see, I guess, how I'm feeling when Friday comes. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful evening. I will catch you next time. Stay fresh!